Hi everybody, Kina Renee here. Um, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've posted a new video. That's just life. Um, we're not going not gonna give y'all any excuses or alternative facts as to why I haven't posted. Just know that today I am back with a brand new video and it's gonna be another um, come hang with me video. My um, previous come hang with me video with Comedy Bay aka Marlon Wayans. Um, it's like my most watched video on my channel thus far so I was like no why not do another one of those so Go ahead and like this video because I know you're going to like it and um, subscribe to my channel because I'm still on that quest to get that 100 so let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Alright everybody welcome back. So recently I got the opportunity to go see one of my favorite people. I can say that now since I've met him. One of my favorite people favorite new artist, singer. He's definitely has joined the list of probably one of my favorite voices, um, male singers. He goes by the name of Kevin Ross. Um, if you don't know who Kevin Ross is, <coughs> let me see, it's him. Go to his Instagram and his Facebook and his Twitter and you can see all of his mashups at Kevin Ross Music is his social media handle. But um, I went to go see him perform on his um, his tour. He's currently on tour, the Awakening Tour, which is the name of his album that came out in, in March. Um, and he kicked off his tour in Chicago. So I just... I told myself that I was not going to miss him. He had previously came to Chicago on the Real James tour. And my, um, I just completely got my dates messed up. I was so, <laughs> I was so pissed off at myself. Um, cause the show was like the ninth and I thought it was the 19th. And I was like, and I was really just going to go see Kevin and, and pro probably leave. Not that I don't like Ro James, but um, I seriously just really only wanted to see Kevin Ross. So um, when I saw that he was um, coming back to Chicago, I immediately got a ticket. I said, I'm not missing him. I'm not going to be, nope, not going to take the chance to do that a second time. So... Uh, <laughs> Um, got my ticket, um, went to the show, and first of all, let me tell y'all, Kevin's show was the first show that I have went to where I wasn't working and or seeing the show from backstage. Backstage really ain't all that. I'm just going to tell y'all. It's not all that. Um, like, this was the first show literally in years, ye years that... Um, I wasn't working or doing anything along those lines so I was very um, excited to be at somebody's show and um, just actually sit down and watch the show and enjoy it um, that was just for me I, that felt like Christmas morning I was like I ain't gotta <laughs> I ain't gotta work I ain't gotta run you know take no pictures or you know run around what oh that felt so good so <laughs> um yeah, it, it, he first of all he puts on 
an amazing show. A couple of things that I noticed. Um, first of all, he doesn't have any background singers. That in itself, the whole time, I was just waiting. Like, when is the background, when is the background singers gonna come out? You know, <laughs> because I, he is, it's just him. He has a drummer and somebody else on keys because he plays keys too. That is it. Bare bones. And when I say that he kills it, it's just him singing. He is the only person singing for, I don't even know how long the damn show is because I was just into it. Um, <laughs> so maybe about an hour. He's the only person on that stage singing for an hour. No help other than like a backing track. Um, Cause he, he does have um, backing tracks, but that's it. That is literally it. When I say that you get to know Kevin Ross during this show, you get to know that man. Um, he does have certain um like different sections of his show i'm not going to tell too much because you know i want you guys to experience what i experienced um by going to actually see the show and getting your tickets and going to the show um but um like i said he has different parts of his show he has like a section where he does um some mashups that he's known for um um he does um, some stuff from his dialogue in the gray, um, which is actually kind of like how I got to know. Well, actually, I got to know Kevin Ross from the Glade commercial. Um, when he was singing that song, Peace on Earth or whatever the name of that song. And I thought that Kevin was like 15 or 16, 17 at the most. Um, but I definitely think, I definitely didn't know that he was like a grown ass man. Um, Cause I was like, who is this little kid in this commercial singing this song like this about this damn candle? I like, I just did not like. I was like, this kid is amazing. <laughs> Cause I seriously thought that he was a child. Like I, I, he, he just looks so young. Kevin, what are you doing? With, with this. um, he just looks super young. That man is gonna be about fifty, looking like he's twenty five. <laughs> he just looks super young. Um, so that's how I first got to know Kevin, and then from listening, because you know they played that commercial like every five seconds. So from that com commercial, that's how I found out about his EP, Dialogue in the Gray, which I believe came out in twenty fourteen. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember. It's been some years. Um, and you know, I checked it out and I was like, oh, okay, this kid is, is dope. You know, me still thinking that he's a kid, um, not, re <laughs> not realizing um, that he's not a child. <laughs> um, I was like, okay, this kid is pretty dope. And like, I didn't, you know, I, it didn't immediately draw me in. I obviously um, continued to follow his career. Um, and, you know, followed him and, and, and was checking for him, you know, here and there whenever he, he would do, you know, put out mashups or something like that. But, um, it wasn't until they kind of picked up the, um, promo on Long Song Away. And that song is just, that, that's just a good ass song. Like, you can't hate or, or say anything. That is just a really good song. And he wrote that song and he produced that song. And of course he sang his face off in that damn song. So, um, I was like, okay, so this kid is like really, um, like he ain't playing. Um, so, you know, when I found, I said, okay, his album's finally coming out. Cause I know they had some pushbacks. Um, if you follow Kevin Ross, you know, it was supposed to come out in 2016, I think October. Um, but they ended up pushing it back. Um, and I was like, yes, finally, um, Motown is doing something with this kid, um, me still thinking that he's a kid. Um, I said, Motown is finally doing something, you know, and, and he's finally get to put out his project. Um, and obviously when the project came out, it definitely did disappoint. Like I was, his, his album was probably one of the, um, 
it's been a long time I've been excited about an R&B project. Um, like there's like Trey songs, there's, cause even when Bruno Mars put out 24 Karat Magic, like, and I love Bruno. I wasn't like, I was excited. I love the album now. Like, you know, I am all like, that's one of my favorite albums of the year. Um, but Kevin's I was actually excited about, you know, one, cause he's a new artist, you know, and I love, um, you know, I'm just a music head in general, being in the entertainment industry for as long as I've, I've been in the industry. But, um, you know, when I, I just, for new artists, I think it's, it's, it's always interesting um, to hear their story, to hear their journey. Because a lot of times people don't understand from the time that, that, that you get signed, from the time you actually put out your project, it's, you know, it's a lot that goes on between that time and um clearly he um he's clearly done a lot of artist development I can say um and that just shows like in his stage presence um just everything it it, it, it just it it shows that he's definitely put in the work um he's he's been you know working on his on on his craft um and he's just dope I mean, I don't know what else to say. That's why I call him Voice Bay, um, which nobody better take because that's he's that's my name for him. He's Voice Bay, um, <laughs> um, but I named him Voice Bay, and it took me some time to to bump him up to a Bay status because Lord knows I don't call you know Bays the Bays in in my life, you know. Um, are people that I truly have followed for some time like they you know what I'm saying like once they get inside my heart and you get to to base that it's like that's it for for me you know that's just it I'm I'm down what what we finna do you know I'm just I just just the type of person that I am so you know it took him a while <laughs> to get the to to you know to the base status but um he's there and um I don't think there's going to be another R&B singer um in the in this generation that we'll see that's that's as talented Kevin is is a a, a force a force of nature um a force of musical nature I don't know but um he did go to Berkeley College and he graduated from there, which is something that I learned at his show. That's why I need to go to the show. Uh, which, interesting story, Berkeley College was actually one of the schools that I was going to go to when I finished high school. But um, my mother wouldn't let me leave the state of Virginia. So I ended up staying in, in, in VA. And, um, but... If you know anything about Berkeley, about that school, then you know like the creme of the top, the creme of the creme, um, go to that school. That is an amazing school for music. Um, and it just, it, it, it shows that he's had the training um, and the education that he's had. It clearly shows um, vocally, I, I can just if, if if you know anything about you know music and just um I'm not a singer but I've I'm I was gonna go to Berkeley because I I'm a musician I don't play anymore let's not go there um but um if you know anything about music if if, if you listen to Kevin's voice then you know that 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 he is extremely trained his voice is extremely 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 trained the control he has over his voice when he does his runs the tone of his voice and especially when he goes in his higher register like it it just i just i i just can't he's just amazing and I can go on and on and on about Kevin. Um, now that I, I've met him, like he's he's truly a great person. 
Um, I always like to meet artists because some artists are just assholes. That's just the way it is. Um, but he's not. He's a, very, he's, he's a very good person. You can tell that his fans and the people that support his career mean the world to him, um, which is always good. Um, you know, it's always, you know, good. He's, he's still a new artist. So right now that support, um, it's necessary. Um, and it's important, you know, to kind of get your, um, your cult, your cult following, um, at this stage at where he's at now. Um, um, what else I want to say about Kevin? And yeah, I just think that he's dope. I'm, I wanted to ask what his sign was because he's either got to be a Sagittarius or a Virgo just because of his work ethic and, and just hearing his his story. Um, and just as a person he is, and I, I'm like, he's got to be a Sagittarius or a Virgo. Probably a Sagittarius because Virgos aren't that nice. Um, no Tino Shay to Virgos, but y'all aren't that nice. Um... <laughs> Um, so I'm leaning more towards the Sagittarius and which is, I, I'm leaning towards Sagittarius because all of my male friends that are like, that I'm like really close to, they're all Sagittarius. So I just, I just, I can point, I, uh, I can point them out, um, with the quickness. But anyway, um, that's it you guys. I'm going to go ahead and play, um, some of the pictures from the show. Um, I'm going to, I took some, some snaps of me acting a fool. I don't know how to act y'all. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to act. Um, so we we'll play some of those snaps. Um, and yeah, definitely if you follow, follow me on social media, um, follow Kevin on social media. Um, go out and see his show go get his album i'll be sure to have the dates um in either sh scrolling on his video um in the description box just go and get your tickets it's trust me i spent 25 dollars and i hold on to to my money um i hold on to it so for me to actually spend some coin to go to a show that i'm not working at that tells y'all that this is um <laughs> That tells y'all that Kevin is somebody that you need to check out. Um, and um, yeah, so till next time, guys. I promise it won't be a whole two weeks. <laughs> Bye. that he's voice baby, right? I do know. See? And I thank you so much for your support. I thank you for coming he out. He sounds amazing. You saw the snaps. Like, I'm gonna...